Welcome to M Government Security Training. In this module, we'll work on the basics of beginning to understand how to think like a security professional, understanding the fundamental differences between wired and wireless security, and an introduction of the four platforms we will discuss in later detail. So many years ago, a wise man, Sun Tzu, wrote in his Art of War that you should know your enemies and know yourself. And if you do, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. The idea and the reason we mention this here is we need to understand the way the attacker views our networks and our devices and learn to put ourselves in his shoes and to think as he does. Because you need to understand how you will be attacked if you are going to defend. So why is wireless security fundamentally different? So. We look at a simple network, the wire that connects two computers, to intercept the communications or the data between these two computers, I need to physically access the wire. It's a simple idea. But with wireless, if you can hear my voice, you're within radio range and you can intercept the wire. Now many of you have played with these tin can telephones as a child and it's intuitive how they work. Your voice introduces a vibration into one can, it travels along the wire or the string in this case to the other can and the listener can hear the vibration on his end. To hear the conversation between the two you have to be able to feel the vibration on the wire. It's the same difference between wired and wireless communication and you can use this simple example to explain that difference to your friends, your peers, and your boss. So when we talk about mobile security and mobile platforms for government, we're really talking about four platforms. The iOS or iPhone, the Android, the Blackberry, and the Windows Phone. But really, those four platforms transform into five areas of concern. Each of them will be talking to a back-end database in your data center. So we have four mobile platforms plus a platform in the data center, if you will. Five problem areas to consider. The BlackBerry originally was a proprietary operating system released in 1999. It was Java-based. Today, it runs on Qnix, which is a Unix-based uh, operating system. BlackBerry OS 10.0 was released in January of 2013. It has an Android runtime layer, so it's possible that some applications written for Android can run on the BlackBerry, although you shouldn't plan for that. And of the four platforms we consider, the BlackBerry is the only one that was built originally with business and government use in mind. So it is the only one of the four where security was a primary design concern. The Windows Phone is a proprietary operating system today based on the Windows NT kernel, uh, much, much the same as Windows 7 or Vista or the modern Windows 8 uh, family of operating systems. It's not backwards compatible with the previous versions and it has a, a slightly different security model from the other three platforms, all of which are based on Unix uh, kernels. Security is a secondary consideration with this and the other three platforms, as this was designed originally as a consumer device. The iOS, or iPhone, is also a proprietary operating system based on a BSD Unix kernel. It was first released in June of 2007, and the current version is iOS 8, not 7 as this slide indicates. iOS 8 was released uh, about a month ago. So this is a Unix-based operating system, but again, a consumer-based device. So security was not the primary design consideration. And finally, the Android. This is a completely open system, as in open source. All of the source code for the entire operating system, most of the applications, is available to the developer and to the attacker. We know the most about the Android system because not only is it well documented, but we have the source code that we can examine. It was released in October of 2008 
and the current version is 4.4, codenamed KitKat. Security, again, is a secondary consideration, although we, with Android, iOS, and the BlackBerry, we're running on a Unix operating system, so we inherit the basic security properties of Unix, and in the case of Android, there are significant security enhancements. So, to recap, you don't know where you are unless you know where you came from, and it's important to consider the origins of these four platforms when we talk about the security. BlackBerry is the only one of the four that was designed with business and government use in mind, with security as a primary design consideration. Windows, Android, and the iPhone were originally designed as consumer devices with ease of use and user experience as their primary design considerations. Thank you. That concludes this, this introductory module.